everybody this is alessandro welcome back to my channel so if there is one of the controller I really love when it comes to hand posing uh is this one over here because with one simple rotation right it lets you rotate and adjust the um those bones that are basically here right and this is really helpful and really important when it comes to hands animation because it really helps you to uh you know to make the bend of the of the hand really natural and appealing Another thing that I would recommend you guys is go and check some of the tutorials that I did in the past about hands posing, uh, because in those tutorials you will understand very, very well the importance of those controllers and why it's going to be very helpful for you to have a very flexible controller that let you animate easier the hands without the needs of touching those controllers one by one. There is an issue where not every rig has something like that. For example, I want to bring you here where this one you basically have to bend uh, those controller individually and it's a lot less efficient, right? And you cannot just parent this one to one controller because the way this one works is not when you move it, all the joint move together, they are moving with a different uh, percentage. For example, this joint fully follow the rotation of this one and this one is slightly less, right? So you want to have more or less the same uh, the same feelings and I'm going to show you a little trick where you can basically build the similar things as long this hand as uh, uh, those controller or those joint and you can do it by yourself right uh, let me go here let me start by creating a controller right we're going to make this controller a little bit bigger and okay? maybe something like this right and I'm going to create also um what is it uh rigging here a locator here right uh we can scale this locator doesn't matter we're gonna select these two controller the locator and this one and parent it for a moment right here okay once you've done that as usually as soon as you go to the channel box and go to zero they will automatically align in position and rotation over there right and uh, now we're going to move those controllers here because this controller basically it needs to be in exactly the same position of this right doesn't really matter what it is uh but you try to place in a position where it's very um comfortable for yourself okay maybe around here um whatever you want now the important things is that you don't want these two controllers to be parent to this one because if you switch to ik it's not gonna work instead you want to parent these two controllers to this one right so moving this one the controller stick around okay and if you go to ik okay it should maintain the same right great now doing this uh, uh there is one thing now we want to do we want to um, rotation constraint those joint here okay between this one and this one okay uh, I'm going to show you something very simple. So first of all, I'm going to do constraint, orient constraint, and we are going to do with, uh, we're going to select this one first, and this one, make sure maintain offset is okay, and then you do apply. Now if you go here and set a key, make sure blend orient is set to one. Now doing this one, you realize that that controller, sorry, this one controller is following exactly this one. But now we want to make sure that the other two, these other two are doing the same, but not with the same intensity. So what we're going to do is we're going to select this one here. Uh, actually, another thing I want to do, I want to just do an animation here. And this one, I'm going to move it by, uh, you know, 90 degree here, right? Boom. Okay. So now what I'm saying is like, I'm going to select this controller, this controller here, the first two controller, where, where you want to blend the controller to. Now select this one again and uh, uh create apply again set set your key one more time and here oops it should have had a boot controller maybe i made a mistake let me redo one more time guys um let me go if i did it correctly um pom, 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 pom. so we select this one we select this one this one again and apply okay go here and you should have two ah, okay here you go i think there are those two um so this one it goes up to one the problem is is that this one now follow exactly one at 90 degree uh, less actually you see 
uh, is following the uh, the rotation is less. It doesn't rotate as much as this one. Okay. And, but you can tweak this value by changing these two things, right? For example, if you want this to follow a little bit more here, you change this one, and then or, or increase this one here, right? You you can play with this with these two value, right? Now another thing is we're gonna repeat the same one here. We're gonna do one here, one here. This controller, gonna apply again, set the value, right? And if this one again is gonna set to one, okay. Again, you realize that these two now they are moving identical, but that's not what you want. So we're gonna go in here and adjust those. <laughs> Bless me. Wow. And you're gonna reduce this one. Uh, so this one maybe you're gonna bring it to uh, to here, zero five, and maybe here a little bit like this, right? Okay. So again, maybe this one you want something in the middle, right? Okay. Right? And now if you have done everything correctly, guys, now you don't need this one anymore. You can hide it if you want, right? Uh, but now you have a nice controller here where you can just do this, right? Okay, you can have exactly this one. You can do the same you want. Uh, if you wanted to do the same in rotation, uh, basically you could have done parent constraint or also gonna do a point constraint, right? And you're gonna achieve the same things in uh, uh, translation. As well, and again, when you do this kind of stuff, guys, very important that you uh, you test those things, right? When you when you do this, when you you rotate those controller or whatever, nothing really uh, uh, really breaks. Okay, you wanna see what happen if uh, you know if you move this one, uh, does things breaks, right? Um, what happen if you move the controller like this? Uh, what happen when you when you scale it or uh, use the um, Master scale, right? Uh, does it does it break? No, it look like everything it uh, it stays correctly, right? So I I hope you enjoy, guys, and um, this simple tutorial. And also other things. Let me know if you enjoy this kind of uh, tutorial about uh, more technical stuff, right? And if there is anything else you would like to know, drop me a message. Another rigger, but I have some technical knowledge that I can pass to you guys little by little. See you next time. Bye, guys.